Hello there everyone, this is Faisal again with another guide. In today's guide we're going to be talking about Li Mei. We're going to be discussing everything this character has to offer in MK1. She was first uh, introduced in the 3D MK and finally we have Li Mei again in the newest version of MK. Uh, before we hop into the guide, please don't forget to subscribe to Dash Fight. These guys have been giving us uh, guides for I think they've covered the entire cast by now, so props to them. So let's not delay it any further and hop right into the guide. So let's start with her buttons. Um, first of all, we're going to be talking about buttons, movements, and the, the, literally the most essential stuff you got to learn about the character. Uh, as you can see, her movement's pretty good. She can approach uh, the opponent very quickly, and she can get away from them in a in a nice, fluid fashion as well. Uh, moreover, her jump ins are good. She has a very good jump one, as you can see. She can catch the opponent easily with her jump one, similar to the jump three. They're both really good. Uh, jump one is not that good. It's good for air to airs, of course, but in terms of uh, hitbox, it's not that good. You just want to be jumping with jump two always in case you're looking for a jump in. Now, in terms of pokes, she's not the best, honestly. Uh, her down four is not. It, it, it's not that bad, but I mean she can get a little bit more range uh, her down three isn't good in my opinion i don't think it's used uh, down one is a down one and uh, yeah so that's basically to do with her pokes now to go into her buttons uh, this is her main string right here it's one two four this is where you're going to be punishing this is how you're going to be in, uh, enforcing your game plan and the reason why because stand one is plus two one two is plus two one two four is minus four and if you want to include a cameo, I'm going to include Lao, and I'm going to be talking about the cameos much more in details later on. But 1, 2, 4 into Lao has no solution. You cannot poke it, you cannot do anything about it. And I'm just going to show you right now. 1, 2, 4, Lao. If I'm respecting, I'm pressing after, as you can see, look at the, at the right. I'm trying to press after 1, 2, 4, but I just can't. Okay, now I'm going to try to jump. As you can see, I, I wasn't able to jump. So, this is me trying to armor. I can't armor. <laughs> so, this is 100% guaranteed. Now, the problem with this string is that the third hit has an armor. But this is why 1 2 is very dangerous and why it's a very good stagger. Because 1 2 is plus 2. So, you can just do 1 2, block a little bit in case they armored. And Li Mei has a 35% uh, BMB. So, uh, so if, if you just do one two you guess their armor you're going to be punishing them hard uh, other than that you can do more mind games one two try to catch their poke with back three and i'm going to be talking about her buttons one by one this is another button that Li Mei has that's really really good it's back three it, it she, she she kind of approaches is that it's an advancing button and it's plus three and if Li Mei wants to continue it it's plus seven but of course there's a twist the string has a gap, as you can see. But since it's plus three, if Li Mei does something like, if Li Mei does something like back three into down one, oops, back three down one, as you can see, she's catching me because I can't I can't press. She's plus three. So this is where it's going to be starting. Or, or if I want to press any button, like if I just want to go for a one, two, four after this. Because I'm reading that she's gonna continue the string. Let's say she does continue the string. One, two, four into a full combo and that's going to destroy her. So I can do something like back three, one, two, four. So I'm plus three, they're trying to press and then Li Mei punishes me. So uh, any character can do the same thing. They're gonna try to punish you and then you go for one, two, four immediately. So that's basically a big mind game off of back three. You can go for back three, one, two, four. You can go for back three down one. You can go for back three four. Continue the full string, abuse them a little bit, and then after it you can go for a grab. You can go for after it with another one two four. That might open them up because as you can see one two four is kind of a shimmy. Uh, you can even go for back three into a grab if they start respecting you. So back three has a lot of mind games after it, similar to one two. One two has one two four. It has one two only. It has so there are a lot of options to play from. Um, off of this uh, to move forward we have 2 1 and 2 1 4 2 1 is minus 2 2 1 4 is plus 6 but of course as usual they're not going to be giving plus 6s away like that this has an armor gap so if you want to put they made to do 2 1 4 
This is, uh, sorry about that. As you can see, armor gap. And this is me trying to interrupt it. As you can see, it can also be interrupted. So since it's minus two, you can mash after that uh, if, in case they try to uh, press buttons. Uh, but in my opinion, I don't think this string is that useful because I think one, two, four is just like it, it has all the mind games you want to use in a game. You know, why should you use two, one, four when one, two is plus two, one, two, four is minus four, and then one, two, four with Lao is plus two. And most players are going to be afraid, by the way, to armor it. If you if you stagger it well and you start playing between the mind games well, sometimes you do one two block, sometimes one two back dash, sometimes one two grab. So if you just start playing with them in a very smart way, your opponent is gonna have a hard time fighting fighting you up close, uh, especially if they want to um, armor after one two four. So if you get in their head well, you're probably not gonna see them armoring. And if they do and you block it, then that's GG's. Uh, the next move that Li Mei has is her four three. 43 is an overhead as you can see it's minus 7 is safe and if I hold 3 if I do 43 and I hold 3 as you can see Li Mei just fakes it so I can do something like 43 hold they're going to block high I go for grab as you can see that's that, that's kind of dirty so uh, or I can let it go so it's a nice button to sometimes use with your opponent uh, to catch them off guard uh, moreover there is forward for three now forward for three is uh, is a combo launcher i'm gonna go for combos later on but it's uh, it's good also to catch your opponent with forward for three like you can do something into backdash and then just catch them with forward uh, uh, for three so something like one two backdash forward four um you can just dash them try to catch them uh uh, like shimmying them in a, in a way where they, they think you're gonna go for a grab just approach get away and then go for forward four if you see them whiffing go for forward four three and you get a full combo this is her highest damaging combo it comes off of forward four three now of course since it's a launcher it is 100 percent um unsafe forward four is minus 11 so the stagger is not good forward four three is minus 20 so you're dying with your life can do something like for it for Lao, of course, um, to just like you don't want to risk it. If, if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't hit, it's fine. You're still plus two, it's still your turn. After Lao, you don't have anything guaranteed except down one, uh, as usual, like most characters. Um, and uh, yeah, which buttons do we have more? We have back to one. Okay, okay I'm gonna show you a few buttons as well. Uh, 434 is a button that I enjoy a lot. The reason is because. Um, there's a, a, a nice mind game off of this. So let me show you what do I mean. So in case Li Mei does 4 4 3 4 you can duck the third hit and you can full combo punish Li Mei. But I have 4 4 3 Lao. So in this situation, your opponent's gonna be respecting me. Right? And if they respect me, I'm gonna go 4 4 3 4, which is plus 3 into more pressure. 4 3 4. Three, four and then I can just dash, 1-2, continue my pressure there. Especially in the corner, this combination could be very abusive. 4-3 four, four, uh, I mean, by itself is minus 2. So I can mash after it. I can... Uh, I can mash after it. I can... Uh, I can continue the string, I can backdash after it. So there, it's very, it's very flexible to do stuff after 4-3, as you can see. Um, that it has an armor gap, so this is why minus two is nice, so you can block it. So it's kind of the same string as one two four. One two four has an armor gap, four three four has an armor gap, uh one two four is minus four, four four three four is plus uh three. But the thing with with is that it can be ducked, but with the right cameo, this can be an actual mind game. Four three four and then I mean, um, why am I saying 434? Four, four? I mean, 4-3 Lao. <laughs> it's plus 2, so yeah, life's good like that. And if they if they try to duck, they're gonna get hit with Lao. If they don't try to duck, then I continue the full string and I hit them for it. Another uh, string is back to 1. Back 2 is minus 3. Back to 1 is minus 6. Now back to has range. Unfortunately, this is one of Li Mei's weaknesses that I'm gonna be talking about more later on. But she does not have range. Uh, back, uh, back 2 is one of her um, fast buttons that are quick, so it's not bad, but you can't convert anything off of back 2, that's the problem. You just have back to 1. 
which is minus six. So I don't think that that string is that useful. Another th string we have is four, three, one, two, which uh, it's not bad because there's four, three, four, as I said before, which is, uh, sorry, which ends with a high, but this does not end with a high. This can, I can continue the combo off of this. I mean, I can continue the pressure and so on. However, she still has um, a gap. So if I want to put Li Mei to do this, 4, 3, 1, 2, the gap is still here. If I want to make her put do 4, uh, 4, 3, 4, gap. If I want her to do 4, 3, oops. If I want her to do um, 4, 3, Lao, gap. So the only solution to not be get, getting caught with armor is 4-3 and then block. Uh, however, like it's the only solution, so there are a lot of solutions to do. So if they don't have bars, for example, you can abuse them. Even if they do have bar, um, you can show them that you're blocking a few times and then you can just abuse the hell out of them later on. So yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's a good string, honestly. I think this string has its times. Um... That's about it when it comes to um, yeah. There's also this one four four four. If you want to stay safe off of the low, but I mean you can do four four low. So yeah. Uh, other than that, that's basically all of her buttons. And now we're gonna be talking about her special moves. So in terms of special moves, Li Mei has a back forward one, which is a projectile that can be done in the air and can be done. Um, um, in the ground so this is also when amplified it will launch so this is her main move to amplify as you can see her main move to launch I mean and her frame uh, the frame data of that move on block is very good it's zero on block so I can include it after one two four let's say it's plus two because of course the range differs so if I do it from here it's plus 14 if I do it max range it's plus 23 so um, yeah, this is how projectiles work basically. So yeah, from from uh, from uh, up close, most projectiles are minus and punishable by death, but Li Mei is not, and this is her normal. Her normal is punishable by death. It's minus ten. It's not that that big, but that's doing it point blank. So if I do one through four back forward one, that's minus eight, and that's safe right now. So uh, she can always find a way to uh, make it safe. Uh, in the air, it also launches. If I want to show you. As you can see, it launched in the air, so I want to bring Lao, this is also launching. So back forward 1 in the air launches and on the ground launches. Her next move is back forward 4, and as you can see the range in this move is amazing, but if done full screen it does not hit. Uh, however, if done from far ranges like that, it's hitting. This is also her armor move, so if I want to do the other Li Mei to do 1, 2, 4, as you can see I interrupted it with the armor which is back forward 4. Um, next up we have down back 2 which is the lantern that she puts up so this lantern controls the skies basically so if I want to put it right here and I want the second be made to jump as you can see it hurts them while jumping and you can get a combo even after that so that's dope honestly as you can see so that controls the skies as you can see, so when when it's put, your opponent cannot jump at all. So that's that's a good way to control uh, how how you want the game to run. You don't want jumping. You can throw loud to control the ground, and you can throw the lantern to could control the skies. So you can do something like that, and then loud with some projectiles. And the lantern, when when combined with the air projectile, as you can see, it does this very nice animation. But it's not only nice; it also launches. So you gotta wait for it to approach and it's launching and you can even get a combo of full screen from this move. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So your opponent, when the lantern is above them, they have to be aware in case you jump and you um, you cause destruction <laughs> in disguise. Uh, the next move is down back 3. Now down back 3 is a good anti-air. If, if I want to put my opponent to um, jump, as you can see it catches the skies. And down back three, when amplified, has a seven frame startup. If done on reversal, if on reversal, then it's it's active on the sixth frame. And this is punishing pokes, as you can see. So that's kind of nice. 
but with scorpion it's even more nice i'm gonna show and i'm gonna explain more and more later on but this move has so much interesting stuff behind it when paired with scorpion because you can get full combo now after this so you're full combo punishing pokes we're gonna be talking about that later on but yeah down back three by itself does not punish pokes as you can see that's a reversal but it was not a reversal punish it's 11 frame startup but down back three amplify does punish pokes uh, next up we have down back four uh, down back four when done uh, normally oh my god when done normally it's it's minus uh, 13 and you can full combo punish it oops one two four easy punish now when amplified it's no longer punishable as you can see i'm trying to punish with the most simple punish which is down one like there's no way i f it up but i just can't why because it's minus six however if i flawless block i'm able to punish because if you flawless block it it becomes minus 16. however the punish is not uh, i mean like the flawless block is not easy at all i'm not gonna lie it's uh, it's not it's not easy to connect this forest block you know, to execute it like right here i just tried to do it it did not work right here it works so it's it's not that easy to do so you you, you can kind of uh do it a few times uh, or like once in the game to catch your opponent off guard especially that it's an instant like if you do it instant your opponent's gonna be as usual blocking low because you have forward four and while you see them blocking low, you go for this. It's going to be so instant that they're going to get caught with it. It's a good way to close rounds as well. Um, I think that's about it when it comes to special moves. Yep, that's about it when it comes to special moves. Uh, all in all, her special moves are pretty decent. She has special moves regarding anti-airs. She has special moves regarding combos. She has a good projectile. She has a good um, punisher. She has a good armor. So she's fine from that range. Next up we're going to be talking about Li Mei's weaknesses and strengths. Now as for weaknesses, Li Mei does not have range as you can see. Nothing she does has range. Like if you're in this range, you, you barely have range. Even like right here, you barely have range. Most characters do have options in that range. She only has down 4 and her down 4 is not the best down 4. Like that's basically it. She has back 2 which is 12 frames. Okay, but what are you going to get after it? You can go ahead and waste a bar uh, and that uh, their opponent can block it or you can just stagger it which is minus three so that's basically it you don't have anything else in terms of range and even back two's range is not that good like back two's range probably has less range than baraka stand two do you imagine that and baraka stand two is much quicker than uh than Lee Mei's back two so uh the range that this character has uh, is very bad also the mid she does not have a fast mid this is her fastest mid which is back two and other ca characters compensate their slow mid with a poke special for example if players are playing raiden they have down one down back three but players that are playing with Li Mei, they don't have poke into special with Li Mei, so that's basically it. So they're gonna be trapped after the ba after their poke. So they don't have a poke special and they don't have a fast mid. So she's kind of weak in terms of fast mids and in terms of range. As for her strengths, now Li Mei is the queen of control. In my opinion, Li Mei, Li Mei has good control over the match and over this, the uh, pace of the game. Because imagine this, she has down back two, that's gonna control the sky, so your opponent cannot jump or else they're gonna get launched. She has back forward one as a projectile, and she also has, if she shoots the lantern, she's gonna get a full combo that I forgot to mention, so that's the combo, and I'm in the combo notation, I'm also gonna include it. But uh, yeah, so she has a good, um, good control over the game. And she's gonna let your opponent follow her. So she's gonna be putting this to control the sky, zoning a little bit, and Kung Lao hat. I'm gonna be talking more about it later on. But Kung Lao can really help with this, with this um, certain game plan, where she can just let your opponent follow the, her, and th she's just going to be punishing the opponent for making impatient mistakes because of how slowly Mei is letting the game play. Uh, up close she has good damage um, 
Like she has a good uh, offense of uh, am I gonna auto shimmy you? Am I gonna grab? Am I gonna go for plus frames? Am I gonna backdash after the plus frames? So if I want to put my opponent to be blocking, I'm gonna be like, all right. So what am I gonna do after one two? I'm plus two. Am I gonna go do one two go for a grab? Am I gonna do one two go for a backdash try to with punish you? Am I gonna do one two and then another one two? What am I going to do? Am I gonna complete the string and then bring Kung Lao for plus two? Am I gonna complete the string and do uh, the back forward one EX for plus two as well and create more distance? So up close she has options on her aggression and from afar is where she just shines and she's the star of the show where she's just gonna be playing as slow as possible making your opponent uh, annoyed controlling the sky controlling the ground and with kung lao i can even take risks like that and we're gonna dive much deeper into kung lao later on but you get the point we're gonna be talking about cameos now i've chosen these two cameos and i think these two cameos work best with Li Mei based on what i've played and based on what i've seen uh first of all kung lao cameo now I was just talking about being able to control the space. Now most players tend to jump uh, over Kung Lao's hat. So imagine this, I have this on, on in the skies. I have Kung Lao for the ground and I even go for back forward one to jail with Kung Lao. So it's just gonna be a bloodbath, you know? Uh, moreover, if I do this and I have Kung Lao on the ground, I can get a guarantee 50-50 because my opponent cannot jump. Like, I have this, they cannot jump, I have Kung Lao hat, and now I'm gonna mix them. Will I go for the overhead into low hat, or will I go with low hat into overhead, and they can jump, most people just go for an instant jump too, just so they can catch me, they can, they can air to air me. But with the lantern, if they try to jump, they're gonna get exploded, so they're trapped on the ground, and I have this free mix-up by jumping on them. Uh, moreover, uh, Kung Lao works with uh, with every single button that they may does. Let's say you want you think they might press a button, so you want to punish them with forward four. But of course, you're not gonna go for forward four three. You can go for forward four back forward one or forward four Lao, as you can see, and you're plus two. So forward four Lao, and I don't have anything guaranteed. You can just go for a poke. But other than that, I mean, what what uh, what was I just saying about Li Mei's uh, uh, strengths is that she wants to control the distance. So she goes for forward for uh, Lao and then she gets kind of a breather to step back and to just continue playing her game you know uh, one two four does not have any gaps I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show it to you right now so of course I said before third hit has a gap but if I block the third hit I'm trying to armor but it's jailing let me try to jump I tried to jump it jails I'm gonna try to mash it jails. So if you block one, two, four, the Kung Lao is inevitable after it. Um, you can go for Kung Lao in so many scenarios, and uh, not only that, but if I put my opponent to go in the corner, I have a new combo. So let me just push my opponent to the corner and let them remove block. I have this new combo that does more than the normal. So this does th three, seven, one percent. Li Mei's normal combo does. 3, 4, 8. So you're getting 2% extra for Kung Lao's hat that regenerates almost instantly. So if I do this combo, Kung Lao would have come back. So let, let me just show you. I'm gonna put the cameo to be default. Look at Kung Lao's bar, okay? I used it now. I'm gonna continue the combo. And as I finish the combo, Kung Lao is back to full. So I'm getting 2% extra for free, you know? So uh, yeah. Another combo that uh, he can work with is 1, 2, 4, back forward 1, EX, Kung Lao spin, down back 2, and then jump 1, 3, 4, down back 4, that does 3, 8, 2. So in case you want to finish it, now I don't like to use the spin because as you can see, Kung Lao's uh, cameo bar is moving much slower. So only with the low hat he comes fast, but if you do the spin, then if you do, let's say, I'm gonna show you. I did the spin, okay? Now he's walking slow. As you can see, it's regenerating slow. If I do low hat, it's not gonna regenerate quickly because I already used the spin, so it's gonna regenerate slow. So if I wanna use this combo, I'm gonna use this combo right here. This, boom, 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 boom. I have to wait for the entire cameo to finish before I'm able to use Kung Lao again. 
and I think this is a big problem so I only use this combo if I want to finish games or if I want to put them under like 2% if, if I, they have like 40% health I go for this combo to put them under 2% in which I can finish it off um, in many ways and I don't need to use Kung Lao Hat to finish it off anymore talking about Scorpion's cameo with Li Mei now Scorpion is used solely for more damage uh, I'm gonna start with the most broken thing that Scorpion has down back 3 used to be 11 frames if amplified it's 7 frames and on reversal it's 6 frames so what does that mean it punishes pokes with a complete launcher let me show you boom reversal punish reversal punish so think of it if I have a reversal punish oops so if I have a reversal punish what can I do now I can do this with scorpion and then I can get 32.8 percent damage off of what off of a off of a reversal down back three do you imagine that this is so broke like you're getting damages off of um off of uh, punishing pokes this is not gonna work yeah but uh, show you the complete combo you're doing 48.5 percent just by punishing a poke is this normal or not <laughs> back forward four gets extended damage in case you want to go ahead and throw it out in the middle of the screen i don't advise you guys because it's risky but if you feel that your opponent is not respecting you whatsoever you can go for it uh, one two four you're gonna get more damage. I'm gonna go for the easy combo. This is the easy combo I'm gonna tell you then the harder combo that you can do does 45.3% Harder combo you guys can do can be the following This is pretty difficult, but it's for one bar. You're doing 42.5% off of the low You can also be getting good damage like every single touch notice every single touch i hit Lee may with i'm doing 42 45 huge damaging combos so she's no joke with scorpion cam you can't really be uh, disrespecting her or anything because just like that i got 49 percent you can even do more and more and more damage like it's just insane if you learn the hard combos which for example something like that and you repeat the sequence a few times you're gonna get it to over 50 percent it just does so much damage now uh, scorpion is not my main cameo kung lao is my main cameo this is why the c combo seem a little bit funky i like to play more dependent on play style where kung lao is going to be helping my play style and not going to be helping me with combos much but for the players that prefer having that uh six frame reversal to punish down ones and the players that just like to play a little bit risky like even if your opponent jumps in right now on you you can get let me just put it to be normal uh, center and default I can get this now as a new anti-air that's also a combo launcher so I have so many options to use with scorpion and even this in case I want to I feel a little bit threatened now I usually don't use that at all when I'm playing scorpion I just go for the combos but uh, you get the idea that scorpion just gives you so much stuff to work with man about Li Mei's combos Li Mei has uh, really good damaging combos let's start with her um, bread and butter which is one two four back forward one ex jump three four jump one three four down back four it does 35 percent and this is uh, how she's gonna be punishing most of the times uh we already talked about one two four being a great string this is plus two on block it can be used as an auto shimmy so uh, yeah, it can be also used it's not it, it won't be used as a with punisher this is more of a with punisher i'm gonna go to every single combo but this is the string that you're going to be opening your opponents up most with Next up, we're gonna be talking about her anti-air. Li Mei has a lot of anti-airs, first of all, down back three. But down back three, you can't get any combo with. As for stand three, you can get a good combo with it. As you can see, it's doing 38% off of an anti-air because stand three has great vertical, uh, 
has great vertical uh, hitbox so it's going to be it's going to be able to hit high on the sky next up we're going to be talking about forward 43 the combo that's done afterwards is the following all combo notations are going to be included now this is you can get the hit off of 43 with with punisher for example if your opponent is trying to do a move since it has good range you can go for it or if they do something minus like back forward 4 this is hella minus so you're gonna get the same uh combo um this is like it has a 16 frame startup so any move that's minus 17 or more you, you're gonna be able to punish it like that uh now for her standard uh, hits she has back two back two has okay range so that can be used as a with punisher so in case you're using back two this is the same combo off of back three this is the same combo so yeah sh she has the same combo after every single move basically whatever hit you do 2-1 you're gonna get the same combo and so on off of a jump kick uh you you can dash and it's not as you can see it's not gonna hit so i use back two because back two as i just said it has good range so you jump kick back two and it does more damage than just stand one you can get 34 percent off of it so this is Li Mei. This is all that has to do with Li Mei. She's a very good character in this game. I think she is a very fun and swaggy character to play. She helps with the fundamentals in my opinion a lot because you don't have a lot of cheap stuff with Li Mei. You're just gonna have to be playing clean and whenever you win I think you're gonna be able to outplay, outplay your opponent if you won with Li Mei. Especially if you're playing against Johnny Cage or you're playing against Kenshi and you're able to win with these Then you've just outplayed your opponent and with Kenshi by the way She does good control over the match because Kenshi doesn't really have a lot of stuff to do from afar So she can control the space well with Kenshi. So yeah, she does well against the top tiers She does well in general. She doesn't have a lot of losing matchups She's a solid character all in all But you just have to play fair with her because there is no cheapness to be abused when playing Li Mei One thing I forgot to mention was that her she has 4-3 that's an overhead and if she holds it then it, she can cancel it into whatever she wants so you can go ahead and cancel it they're going to be blocking high then you can go for a grab once you've conditioned them that this is your case you can cancel it and then go for an auto shimmy into a launcher so you have a lot of options off of that too and don't forget that you have kung lao hat that's also low so you can go for a mix up either either let ha low hat release first or let uh, the overhead release first so you're going to be able to mixing mix them up uh, as well with the down back four you can do the same thing you can keep it safe you can keep this safe you can keep a lot of stuff safe these are just a few things that i forgot to mention about kung lao cameo other than that uh as i said all the respect to Lime players i hope you guys play her i've played her a lot in tournament i think she's very fun and she's very efficient and she's always going to be bringing you results if you're a good player and if you're still not an above average player then you can play her to like slowly but surely develop your uh, your uh, fundamentals on fighting games uh, that's all there is and i hope you guys have a nice day